Six in the morning and I haven't slept a minute. The good thing is I am in fucking China. Look at that, 6 a.m. Come on, work, yes. It's really weird that that picture zooms in and zooms out. Anyway, I arrived in China. I've been allowed in the, in the land of the China. I have been, I am... I am tired, I don't know what I'm saying, but this is the Republic, uh, it's not f***ing important. This is a really weird intro, isn't it? Shall I do it again? No, it's Nico Leonard on cut. And that's why you're watching, because it's real. I hope that you're watching that for that reason. <laughs> this is weird. Right, let's... Uh, Let's talk through the day because this is very, very important. There's a reason why I'm in China, right? Uh, first of all, you see some traveling footage, etc. Really cool, but like, for me, Nico Leonard Uncut is about showing you the real, real side of, of my work and what I actually do. Now, traveling, it's all fun and games, right? But like, I'm, I'm in a flight twice of, of about nine hours. Yeah, how, how much do, you, do, do I want to, do I, can I show? You see what I mean? Like, I can film it all, but it's boring as fuck. So I do want to show you guys the real side of travel because it's not always glamorous. Although first class, you would say it's glamorous. But if you can't sleep and you're struggling breathing and you're stuck in this fucking tube, it, that's not very glamorous, right? Let's call a spade a spade. Um... Um, and it's not very comfortable either. It is more comfortable than an economy, don't get me wrong, but, and I'm not being ungrateful here, but it's never as comfortable as your own fucking bed. So don't forget that. Don't ever think, why am I throwing a pin? Don't ever think that, ah, oh, first class daddy, oh, whatever. No, it is only good when you go on a holiday with your family. That's when you can enjoy it, not on business, right? Um, I'm actually quite pissed off with myself because the first flight from Dublin to Dubai, I wanted to work and I didn't and I was distracted and yeah, that was quite tough. Um, and for those that uh, that don't know, I actually have ADHD. I was diagnosed at a very young age. So I'm literally all over the show and this is why this intro is so f***ed up weird. Or is it not an intro? I don't know if this is actually an intro. I need to check with Gareth. I'm rattling on, but I'm going to show you the real side of my job today. I'm not just representing pride and opinion. I am representing myself as a stakeholder in this industry, which is vitally important for me because I want to make an impact on this industry for years to come and for generations to see, right? Not generations, my generation, so my kids, right? I want them to see that, that uh, I and nobody really worked his ass off with a lot of pers perseverance, pushed through <clears throat> and, uh, and, 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 and made, made a name for himself. Now, and that is very, very important for me, and this is why I'm here in China. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a daily upload again. And I, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I really, really appreciate the love and support from you guys as well on the daily channel, by the way. And uh, on the Uncut channel, because this is the real side of what I actually do. Listen, I love, I love the reaction videos. It's great fun and teaching you guys about watches. That is what I love, right? Creating watch enthusiasts. That's what I love. And this is just the real side of the hustle. Looking forward to that. Oh, by the way, completely for fuck's sake, this chair is weird. Um... We're going to do a video with Luke Holmes. How about that, son? That's insane. That's the big news. Right, it's six, whatever. It's actually 10 minutes past one, but or 11, but that's a UK time. It's 10 minutes past six. I need to get my shit together. I'm going to the gym because I'm a fat fuck and I want to be fit today. And I barely slept. Let's put it this way. I made me slept one, two, two three hours. And now I need to get the rocking on. I need to drink a lot of water. There's two bottles of water here. I need to drink them both. Take a banana because I'm absolutely gonna work on myself. I uh, I need to lose weight and I wanna be fit. And today is a big day. Where's my schedule? I'll show you in a second. Health club. Oh, there's car park. Um, health club, look at that. That's where we're heading. Yeah! Gym companion, no bother, son. How are you, mate? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Six, 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 six
Club. 6 a.m. Club. <laughs> That's it, boy. That's it. What are we doing, yoga? <laughs> Guy is a fucking animal. F me. Jesus. First time exercising. Probably a couple of months. That's some swimming pool, mate. Let's have some swim. That is mad. Like, you don't have that size of swimming pool in hotels in, in Europe. No, only in China. Only that in China. is mad. But it's beautiful as well, you know. Like, look at that. That's stunning. What is here? Ice bath? No? Oh, no, that's a baby bath. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we, were just, we were just talking about ice baths and getting fit and stuff. That's mad. That was fantastic. I'm just saying this because there's no other thing to say. Now, listen, honestly, we need to talk about fitness, right? Because I am far beyond in any way, shape or form the word fit, right? And if I go on and like this with my lifestyle, I will fucking die very early. And that is not good. I can't even run after my own son. And if I go on like this in another year, I've never weighed as much and I've never been as unhealthy. And Listen, we can find excuses, right? We can always find excuses and everything, but it's now just a matter of doing it, right? Fucking go out, do some exercise. Stop being a lazy bastard. Just fucking go out. Now, I'm not lazy. I know I'm not lazy. I'm just not making the time. I'm not prioritizing it right, but it's always important to just surround yourself with people that prioritize this stuff. And this is the great thing about Macho. He's an absolute legend. And, uh, on this trip, I'm going to exercise every bloody day. And I just realized I forgot my fucking shirt. I had my overall thingy, an orange thingy, and I forgot it in the gym. And I don't want to lose it because it was actually a gift. So I need to grab that. Right, fucking right. Let her have it. I'm going to get ready, grab this, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do today, which is quite big. Looking forward to that. Look at... No, that's the wrong time again. 8.43 it is, actually. Look at that. Um, right, let's talk. Let's talk. What am I actually doing in China? For me, this is one of my biggest moves or biggest moments of my career. I have been trusted with the job to present a brand spanking new watch by a luxury watch brand to present this to the world. I'm doing a world premiere of a watch. Right, let me grab this and let's talk. I'm gonna be presenting the new Ulysses Nordin freak to the world. I'm doing the world premiere and I'm presenting that to the world. Right, that is a big, that is big. That is fucking big. The fact that I've been trusted with this it's just bizarre. Now, there's a story behind this as well. I've been very, very critical with Julius Nardin. I've been very critical with their strategy. And they've reached out to me. Macho has reached out to me. The gentleman you saw earlier, about a week after I launched the video. And he said, Nico, I only want to hear what we're doing wrong. And if you know it better, why don't you help us? Now, that is an insane approach, and that is an approach with balls. Now, I'm not the messiah, I'm not the know-all, but I'm an end consumer, I'm a customer, and I kind of know the watch industry a wee bit, right? So, we got talking, and we hit it on quite well, right? And we started brainstorming, and we had great ideas, and I'm just very proud to be part of the next step, the next stages, the next stories, the next watches of Ulysses Nardin, because I do have a secret love, not a secret love, I've had a long, long time love with the Maxim Marine. It's one of my first ever watches and always absolutely love it, loved it. So I always had a love for it, but the brand was quite directionless. Now, the brand is now independent again, right? Which helps massively. This means that Mathieu can make decisions together with his team that actually make an impact and they can actually add value to the industry. And with that, I want to tell you the real story behind the freak, what I'm going to do uh, during this video. But 
for now, I'm, uh, I'm just checking my planning, right? And what's going on and who is where and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. This is big. This is the biggest thing I've ever done. And I'm just so proud that this wouldn't have been possible without your support, without you guys watching the videos on the main channel. And, and, and yeah, it's crazy. This is the next step in my career, you know? And I'm very proud that I can bring you guys with me on that journey. Look at that, that's my schedule for today. Arrival at 10, then first live stream, then lunch. Then we have an interview. We have two interviews back to back and dinner. This is gonna be crazy. These are all, the interviews I have is all with Chinese uh, media regarding the industry, regarding Julius Narda, the new direction Julius Narda is going in, and of course the freak. So I'm very, very excited to talk about this. And you know the thing is, right? And I thought about this in the last couple of days. We all worship and talk about Gerald Genta, and rightfully so, he was an incredible designer. But we never talk about the creator of The Freak, because what he's done, no one has ever done before. He was the first ever to use a silicone. He was the first ever to do The Freak. Like, I just want you to realize how extremely complicated this is how special it actually is. Now I've criticized it, right? And madly I have, and rightfully so, because the focal point for the freak was never the movement, it was never the theater you see here, but it was always the case design. And I don't know who the designers were in the past, but they must have been blind because the designs weren't at weren't up to scratch and this this is so extremely wearable and it's so extremely nice to wear it, it feels nice it it's all about what a watch tells you other than the time what does it make you feel you want to put a watch on in the morning and it, you want it to make you feel better it's it's a part of you and, and they've done a great job of going into this direction and I mean I celebrate this. I celebrate change. It's uh, it's sometimes difficult, and this is the man Macho is. He asked me, I don't want to hear what I'm doing right. I want to hear what I'm doing wrong. And uh, for that, he's a big fucking man. And uh, he worked for several watch brands in the past. I think even Jeje Lecoult. I think that he... Uh, he will bring you this knockdown to the next level, a level that they haven't been yet. I'm excited, very, very excited. Look at that, Yulis Nardin properly, properly represented here, no bothers on. What do you think? Have you said why we're in China yet? Uh, yes, I've already told the people that what I'm doing in China. It took three videos, sorry about that, but we <laughs> call that... Longest drone I think ever. Yeah, yeah, we, we call this uh, retention <laughs> tricks, right? That's just, we, we need you to stay on the video, basically, because then the video will be recommended. Right, we'll not go into detail, but uh, yes, I've told the people. Are you ready for this? Are you a donkey now, carrying everything? Yeah, thanks for your, whatever this is, iPad. This is my briefings. Great. So we have an interview with a gentleman that was there later on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's happening today and yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Look at that. No bother Look at that in the Tesla. No bother son. No bother Water is there. I'm well equipped. How are you driver? How are you sir? Fantastic <laughs> Hey, what a legend People are so unbelievably friendly here. It is mad. Have you never seen this? I've never been like X-Wing, no? No? That's the maddest. <laughs> I love it. You know there's a mode where it, the car does dance, dancing and stuff? Does the wings start flapping? Yeah, it's crazy <laughs> like, it's crazy. Are you excited for today? Yeah. Yeah, the launch of the new Freak X Ops. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you were just to see it uh, yeah. in their Watch on Wonder Shanghai. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Do you think I can get one today to wear, no? 
Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Let her have it. Depends. Depends if anybody have already... I, I'll claim it. I'll claim it. I'll steal it off people's wrist. No bother, son. No bother. Look at that. No bother. Look at that. That is Shanghai. So we're now traveling to the east part of Shanghai, or where do we... Because this bridge separates yeah. the east and... I think it's the west part. Yeah? Yeah? West part, yeah. So this bridge separates the east and the west. Yes. Really? Yes. Uh, look at that. You know what? I actually expected that it would be more complicated. Like, I don't speak Chinese, obviously. I don't see the signs. But, for example, I just saw a taxi passing. And it just says, taxi. And it says it in Chinese. So... I didn't expect that. That's good. Like this, all the signs are in English as well. What? Where Where are you from yourself in China? From Shanghai. From Shanghai. Yeah, even to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Shanghai big. is big, you know. Yeah, it's big. You did you know? I just looked this up yesterday, right? Yeah. Twenty four million people live in Shanghai. Yes. That is yes. mind blowing. Yes. It's nearly double the full population in the Netherlands yeah. plus minus 10 million but like that's insane like Shanghai is the third most populated city in the world yes. like that's crazy yeah. that's crazy and you know what it doesn't feel that busy mm -hmm. um, like maybe it's the time will, that we're traveling you will feel the busy part of Shanghai yeah. today. Okay. All right, all right. So we're gonna get the traffic anyway. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I just realized I say look at that every five seconds and it's bloody annoying me now. So I've saw it in the comments as well. <laughs> Please stop doing that. So look at that. I'm gonna stop doing that. Look at that. I think we could do bingo now. There's look at that. There's no bother some. No bother some. Let her have it. What else? Comment what other ones are on the bingo, but there's a few there. <laughs> I will stop doing that, I promise you. Look at that! Oh, sh**. <laughs> uh, just watching yourself back is embarrassing. Get VIP parking here, look at that. Oh, shit! I said it again, I shouldn't say that. Oh, this is annoying. We get VIP parking. Don't look at that. <laughs> oh, that is belter. Oh, hello, son. Fantastic. You ready? Look at that. <laughs> no, don't say that. No, I'm saying it. No. It's behind the scenes and watches and wonders Shanghai. First time I'm ever here. First time I'm in China as well, but I've said that already a million times. But uh, look at that. Behind the scenes. Because I'm a staff boss. I'm staff. This is mind blowing. I'm not a guest. I'm staff. Wow. Look at that. IWC, no bothersome. The only thing is, there's a lot of empty seats in the front. This is now properly not behind the scenes. This is what, like, it's a small show, but it's a nice show. I'm trying to hold myself together here because I am fing destroyed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. There seems to be someone famous over there. Yeah, but with IWC, yeah. They have, they literally, IWC literally locked down their entire stand because there was someone famous with like 10, 12 photographers and videographers and stuff. Yeah, it's still hectic. Is it still hectic? This was it's half an hour ago. So man. close, yeah. That's mad. But um, can I just point out, this is the bollocks. To be fair, I've been given quite some hate on Instagram, like, because I slagged them off uh, in the past, which rightfully so. And uh, I'm actually fucking impressed with how they've managed and how they're doing now. I mean, keep in mind, 
they're independent now. Whenever we did, made that video, they weren't. So uh, they're making great, great decisions. And an interesting conversation with the CEO of Speak Marine as well, which is cool. It's a cool watch brand, very small, make about 500 pieces a year. That's interesting. So I should show you guys that later on. But I actually should challenge and go in and what is your most favorite watch? I need to ask that to people. Ask me, but 99% doesn't speak English here, so it's a bit difficult. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that will work. That's great content. For now, I'm just chilling in the bushes. No bothersome. I can find you for like 20 minutes, sir. No, because I was uh, not hiding in the bushes. By the way, I was outside doing outside things. And uh, it's fucking raining, man. Yeah. So this is one thing about Shanghai here. It is extremely warm, 30 degrees, but no sun. And someone just told me earlier, they've never seen the sun when they were here. Now, they don't live in Shanghai, but I mean, you get the gist of it, right? I still have a reversal on my bucket list. The dual phase reversal, that's what I want. That's what I want to buy. Shall we buy a watch here on this trip? Hey, you go for it. What would you buy? I don't know, you know. I don't know. It's a good question. I do want to buy a watch. I just got a tutor and I need something else. Yeah, I need something else. Look at that. I don't know who he is, but hello. There's just eccentric watch people here who just dress in like purple suits, pink suits. But no, that's not weird. That's normal here. Like, not here. That's normal. Watch people are a bit eccentric. And, I, and that's what I love, right? Like the eccentric part is the cool part, I think. Uh, it's being unique, but the problem is they're all buying fucking Rolex, so they're not really that unique. You see what I mean? So that's what it is. It's what it is. All right. Cool story, bro. I have like several people constantly looking at me. Go away. <laughs> just weird white clouds. Who's this weird white man here? I just don't know what to say, Gareth. I'm just walking my dog, son. If you put a bed right here, right now, right, I will collapse. Right? <laughs> the only thing that can keep me awake now is a blowjob, but I'm not getting that anywhere here, am I? Here. You can find one. Hi. I'm doing things. Pizza? Yeah. Oh, it's and very difficult. It is, it is quite difficult, yeah. but. Uh, but we got this, uh, got this sorted this time, and like I said, I'm extremely grateful to be here. Yeah. And uh, the welcome, the welcome has been fantastic. The people has yes. been so friendly. Yeah. Uh, I do need to get used to this weather, though. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, it's yes. very warm, and there's no sun. And I'm like, hey, how, do, how does that work? The craziest thing I've ever yeah. felt in my life. Yes. I stood outside earlier, yeah. and I'm like, the rain is warm. <laughs> it's like I'm on the, in a shower, right? I'm like, how is this possible? That, Blue my mind, yeah. right? Blue let's my mind. Uh, welcome away in Shanghai. Yes. <laughs> and uh, let's talk about watches, you know. Hello. This is quite crazy, you know. I'm on the other side of the world, people recognize me. It's fucking weird. But, um, ah, it's cool. I absolutely love that, you know. You know what? There's another one here, which is an absolute belter. Right, let me see. We are a freak nation. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Let me see, is that that one? No, that's a new one. It's that one. I love that. That is a beaut. That is an absolute beaut. Right, let's go to IWC. Let's, let's look at some watches, right? I just met the CEO of Panerai. 
This time, you... it was the CEO of Panerai. <laughs> really awkward what just happened. I am, I am absolutely jet lagged to the balls, right? And I just saw the marketing guy Max from Roger Dubuis, and I c confused him with the CEO of Panerai. They look alike, but f me, I didn't have glasses, so that was quite awkward. Um, shows how much of a f an amateur I am, but is what it is. Said the wrong name to his face. I said the wrong name to his face and it's actually on camera and I'm not gonna show you. Or are you gonna put that in? Yeah you're gonna put that in aren't you? Jean-Marc Bossman no, 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 no. This is I'm Max from Oh Max sorry. Sorry, sorry. Roger Dubois. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Jean-Marc actually you know what? We're not we, you're right, we're we are the same height. You're living in this <laughs> man. Oh. This is awkward as f but um yeah it is actually really busy like it's a small show right small show beautiful stands but a small show uh, let's put it this way you can roll i can i can literally from one end to the other end is will take you less than a minute two minutes maybe it's about yeah it's about a football field it's small it is small but the stands are really really good you know Stars are really, really good. Look, I love this. This is one second wow. If you see this, that's the daddy. Hey, I'm not talking about the brand, right? I'm talking about how do you present your brand? I think that that is really, really cool. Um, I've said earlier in another video, um, I don't know if that actually published, but the way uh, Elon and Serena present themselves on the Concordia Elegance was just simply embarrassing. Uh, and that was actually really, really good. So. It's clearly uh, region uh, dependent. The way IWC presents themselves as well, may I add, again, they were incredible in, in Geneva as well, is the storytelling. They're very good at that. Right, they're very, very, very good at that. So, hello, how are you? I appreciate that. Legend. Yo! Legends, look at that. I'm a big fan of you. I appreciate that. What? Yes, 100%, 100%. Come here. Let me see, 2005, 2013. Yes. You know, I'm big fan of you a lot. And I'm here in your, I'm here in one of your videos. I appreciate You're now in the video. You're now in the video. Oh my God. So, this is. Here, you're now in the video. What's your name? Come here. Come here. What's your name? Corey. Corey, Corey nice lovely to, to meet you. Where are you from? Hong Kong. Actually. Hong Kong? Yes. That is two hours away from here. I've, I've been taught. I've been, someone told me. Oh, okay. It's two hours away with a flight. Yes. Yeah. That's not too bad. I never expect you. Either. No? I'm so happy. I appreciate that. That's all you I appreciate, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, of course. Of course. Where? Hello, yeah. Oh, Tenta. No bottles on. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. And the bunch. Yes, the head. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate, appreciate that. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much for your support. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I joined the Washington. My dear, my dear. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Not a word. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too, mate. You too. That's mad. He says he wouldn't be in the watch industry if it wasn't for our videos. Yeah. We've done something right. Yeah, it's yeah. working. It's working. My ego is growing as well. That's working all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is mad. That is mad. Right, let's walk around. Okay. By the way, congratulations of your becoming a GP3 Academy man. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, right, yeah. let's le let's check some watches. What is what is your favorite watch you've seen so far? Uh, in this SRB, right? Yeah. Um, not yet the Zayatri. This is the bollocks. Lucy, not the that is the bollocks. King freak. <laughs> That's it. That's a fucking freak show. So. Yeah. You only bring one today. So this is this is launched today. I done the premiere of this watch. I I introduced this to, uh, with you listening out there. I've I've I have I have not anything to do with it, but I I've presented shocked, it. You know, I presented it. Shocked. I presented I'm it. Shocked, you know. That is cool. That's cool. I appreciate you. Nice genta. Yes. Nice thank genta. you Let so much. See. 
Well done. I nearly forgot this yeah, see, interview. That time, that time I nearly forgot that interview, you know? <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. You, you had one task and you forgot it. Fantastic. What is this? Rebranded Roger Dubuis High Life Red Bull. It is a normal Red Bull to be fair. They just yeah, they did. That's what they do with their watches as well. <laughs> joke. It was a joke. See what this? See what this is? This is for all the Grand Seco lovers. Uh, hello, how are you? Your camera is bigger than mine. Yo, let her have it. Let her have it. No worries, I'll give you two seconds. I have an interview with that gentleman. Fantastic. Uh, again, this is for the Grand Seco lovers. Uh, I got you sorted, bro. I got you. They all came out in the comments for you. Oh, yeah, they all came in the comments. Oh, look, there's a mic. Hello. Yeah. Hello, your camera's bigger than mine. Look at that. I need to stop saying look at that. No, I'm not saying this anymore, I promise. If I say that one more time, I need to give away a watch. That's too many watches to give away. No, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not saying that word. Jet lag is hitting hard, bro. It is hitting hard. I feel like I've been hit by a truck, like a big one. And he reversed as well and came back. That is a bollocks, boy. That is the bollocks. Wow. You know what? The day was fantastic. Sound like an absolute lunatic, but no, the day was absolutely incredible. Um, just wish I was, wasn't tired and I would have enjoyed it significantly more, but it's just cool to be involved and see the industry from this perspective because I'm always on the other side, right? I'm always there, sitting there easy behind the camera, criticizing the whole shit show. And now I'm actually, I'm actually seeing it from the other side and how hard these guys work. And uh, some of them work hard and like, this is their life, you see? It's really, really cool to see that. And uh, I really, uh, yeah, I'm excited, fucking hell. I'm excited. By the way, this is really weird, right? Because it's fucking raining, it's 30 degrees, and therefore the rain is bloody warm. It's like having a shower. Mind blown. Right, we're now off to dinner anyway. Gareth, Vivi. Car is gonna be here in 30 minutes. Oh, car's gonna be here in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Bit of a day. Right. Yeah. That is a good story. So 30 minutes. Um, yeah, then we're gonna go back in then. But, um, so, the car's gonna be here in 30 minutes and then we're gonna go out for dinner. Uh, I do need to freshen up and fix my phone because I have no WhatsApp at the moment. Uh, help. How many followers do you have? Let me check. Much hey. 528. 528, no bother. That's nearly as much followers as she tried to collect in 11 <laughs> years. That is fantastic. Guys, appreciate the support. Follow Machu. Again, I'll put the thingy in here. So uh, he hit 500 uh, uh, followers. So I'm going to give you some of you, one of you, got there. Watch. That's how we roll. Appreciate the support. And uh, what are we doing now? Heading for dinner. Heading for dinner. I'm first going to freshen up because I feel like I'm drunk when I'm absolutely sober, but I'm jet lagged. I think you so, need to freshen up, right? Yeah, yeah, I need to freshen up. Feel like. Uh, so uh, first freshen up, then dinner, and then uh, there's another video tomorrow because uh, tomorrow's gonna be an even, even busier day. Really appreciate the support, the love, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.